Wildcats are on the verge of a Park and Rex Spring League Championship. Tonight, the Wildcats take on Basketball United at the ring. Hey, Mac, here to tell you about the best deli in town. Did I just say the best deli in town? Yeah, I did. The best deli in town. It can be found inside the Bremerton 76 off State Highway 303. Start your morning off with biscuits and gravy made fresh every day. Or your lunch break with the best burgers with their special sauce made your way. I get the double cheeseburger, but if I didn't, I get their homemade lumpia. Mm -mm -mm. All made fresh every day, all day at Bremerton 76. While you're there, sign up for the kickback rewards card and save on whatever else you want at Bremerton 76.
Yeah, he really got a three-pointer on the floor. I'm going to go back and forth and take it out. Of course, it's a in need of insurance. You ask yourself, where do I go? Who's the best? Who's the most affordable? If this is you, your questions have been asked. H&K Insurance. H&K Insurance is an independent insurance agency specializing in customized policies. They represent a variety of different insurance companies who offer comprehensive packages at affordable prices, like Kemper, Travelers, and Pemco. H&K Insurance has three locations, Silverdale, Port Orchard, and in Bremerton. See how H&K Insurance can assist you? Call 360-377-7645. H&K Insurance, we're here for you.
The best, highest quality, excellence, or standing. Those words describe Chiropractic Lifestyle Center. Voted the best in chiropractic care in Kitsap County. If you need treatment, don't settle for second best. Go to the best. Chiropractic Lifestyle Center. Don't live your life in pain. Schedule your appointment today. 360-373-2225. Chiropractic Lifestyle Center. 991 Northeast Bordeaux Road in Bremerton. Your next step to health and healing.
lose your cell phone, you feel lost. It's hard to lose your computer, but when your PC goes down, there's only one place to go. PC Parts and Service, 1210 Sylvan Way in East Bremerton. PC Parts and Service uses only premium computer parts to bring your PC back to life and offers the best computer service in Kitsap County. Need a refurbished tower or rebuilt laptop? Then call PC Parts and Service, 373-0424. That is not right. So you're craving Mexican food tonight. Tell us you're not thinking of fast food. Sing in line for 20 minutes at the drive through getting mystery meat wrapped in a tortilla. Instead, call Los Cazadores Mexican Restaurant in Bremerton. Los Cazadores has the best authentic Mexican food around. Call your order in at 479-3230. And it'll be ready for you when you arrive at Los Cazadores at 2805 Weekly in Bremerton. No mystery here. Authentic Mexican food only at Los Cazadores. All right, welcome back. Well, 16-14. We'll give him the score. I had 19-15. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll try to do the best we can to keep you informed of what they're doing over on the side. There's a shot off the mark by Williams. It's about pulled down by Alerte. Kabashi on the opposite side of the floor. He gets it back out on top to Alerte. He waves Kabashi out on the offensive end. Alerte with it. Gets it inside and going up his brick house to block it out of there. As I had he went to go up to strong with it. And there's Brandon Brickhouse emphatically blocking the, the ball out of bounds. Good job by Brandon Brickhouse. Had a chance to talk to him out in the parking lot before the game. Shot up and in by a Kadeem Stewart. And a 54 point for him. Four point lead. Here's Stu. Here's Clark. Needs a short. Rick out the rebound. Scoops it out to, to DeAnza Moore, who steps back for three. No good. Debashi with the rebound is ripped away from him. And what do we have on the floor? Be a loose ball foul called against the Wildcats. A lot going on over here today, so if we didn't get some of the audio in the video, we do what we do now. Three off the mark. Served up by Stewart. The boss with the rebound. He'll, he'll reload on the opposite side and ring down a three. 21 to 14. UB boys. Here comes Brandon Brickhouse, or uh, Williams, streaming through coast to coast. Dumps her eat the Brickhouse. And we have a offensive foul called on Williams. No bucket, wipe away the bucket. Score should still remain 21 to 14. Here's Obashi up pick. He's driving against the defense. Cut off by Clark. Fires one in. Short range Jimmy is good by the UV boys. Queen 3 14. Williams. Out defensively on the near side, gives it up to Deanza Moore. Uses Alerte and fires up in his foul by Alerte. Should be a three point, three, three free throws coming up for Deanza Moore. As Alerte pushes him. And here's Deanza Moore at the, on the line for the Wildcats. Little dribble, flex in, release. And hit the first free throw to the end of the more. Clark and Williams talking things over what they need to do defensively. Next free throw is also good by Moore. Get one more as he fouled on a three point attempt. Here's the next free throw by Moore, and he got all three. Alerte plays, uh, pays the price. Driving in, hanging in the air, and hitting is Kadeem Stewart. 
Knocks it away as Williams. Six point lead for UB boys. Alert the end on top. Swiping away as is uh, Williams. Going inside is uh, Alert Day. And they get the shot to fall. They finally get down. Here's Williams jumping through, going up and has a shot blocked and a foul called on UB boys. Only a one man refereeing crew makes it awful tough for Gary Johnson out there. He finds himself in a good spot all the time to make the calls, this time putting Deanne's Lamore back on the line for the Bremerton Wildcats. Wearing our Laker style jersey by the Wildcats. So we're matching it up with their Kits Out Cats shorts. First free throw is good. Twenty-seven twenty, unofficially the score. Dan's no more. It's another, it's another free throw. Goes one pass back and then six point something sure is uh swapped it this way is really smells good. Kitchen open on the other side of the gymnasium. Here's Debashi coming into front court, which is Deans and Deans and Amore, who's controlled the basketball, picked up by Hale. Cards one down, overplayed by Stewart. Almost saves it from going out of bounds. Should be a wild cast basketball on the opposite side of the floor. Yep, here it will be. So we're going from our left to our right. Nope, it's going to be uh, UB Boys basketball. Inbounds to alert day. Drive in, left hand playing too strong. Playing for the offensive rebound is John Coles, and it'll go off Coles and out of bounds. Here come the Wildcats. In the front court. The ends of the more. Eyes one, flies one, in. It goes in and halfway out. Nice pass underneath to alert to. He has a shot blocked by Brandon Brickhouse, and a foul called on Brandon Brickhouse. He's looking, boy, he goes, oh man, he goes, I thought I had to out clean. Take a peek over at the family members in the stands and go, man, I thought I had that. So alert will be at the free throw line. Shooting two, three B boys. First free throw is good by Alerte. And the second free throw up coming by Alerte. It's good. Nope. It is good. Here's our Damon Clark underneath hanging near and hitting for the Wildcats. Stops to remove. Far side the floor. Still going in with it. Nice that left hand scoop shot up by Stewart. Can't get it to drop. Clark out of back court. Fires one near side in the corner to Williams. Spins around, drives in, kicks right in. The Brandon Brickhouse on a heck of a feed by Ulysses Todd Williams of Brickhouse who elevates and scores. Here's Alerte. Gets one out for three. And it's below Dabashti hitting the shot. His first point come from behind the three point line. Mark will flash in and, and score for the Wildcats. Well, scoring here in the first half. Up and down the floor we go. Once again, it's Stewart. Hangs in the air, he gets the roll to Stewart. Eight points on the position for Stewart. Shot up off the mark by Wildcats and then saving from going out of bounds. <laughs> Is Kadeem Stewart. Did he say they've been out of bounds and be a, a, a referee timeout? And we're going to have a jump ball. 
a very, very tough uh, decision to make there on the opposite side of four from the referee, Gary Johnson. No, we're not. <laughs> no, I got 32-27, you said it's 35-32 our lead? Yeah. All right. The ends with a more. Skips one inch, throwing away. Here, coast to coast with a nice pass down to Ortiz scores. 35 34 Wildcats is this is. And the Wildcats will see. The UB boys bring in Presley Crawley into the game. Here's a steal by the UB boys. Debashi for three. Got it. Ibrahim Debashi, his second three. Should give UB boys a two point lead at 37 to 35. Here's Moore, missing the shot, Debashi on the run. And a backcourt. Pass out to the right side, off the foot of Hale, trying to receive it from going out of bounds. Couldn't do so. Alerte will help him to his feet. And the intercepted by Brandon Brickhouse. Goes up with the Euro move, goes inside, misses the shot. Hedia with the rebound. Into Stewart. Far side to four to Alerte. It's a pick from Crawley. Back out to the far side. Nice pass in, inside. Stewart will save it. Gives up to, to Crawley for three. Off the mark. Hands to hands to Hale. Hands off to Williams. Two on three. Out to Moore. Can't find the mark. Rebound stolen away by Williams, who goes up and scores. Nice job by Todd Williams. Ties the score at 37. Clark with the rebound. Up the miss by Alerte. Williams in a backcourt. Fires the front end of the rim. No good. Alerte on the run. Just coast to coast. Hayes in the air. Misses the shot. And we have a foul called underneath on, I do believe. On the Wildcats. Sending alert to the free throw line. As Coach Jim Fortune is, is off to our right. It was uh, Alerte coming to the free throw line. Jacob Alerte, officially five points for him. Here in the first half, the bucket tournament. Another sort of game going on in the background. Free throw up, leaves it short. And I think Jim, Jim Fortune wants a timeout. He'll take one as well. I'm here for my friends at Los Cazadores in Bremerton. So you're craving Mexican food tonight. Tell us you're not thinking of fast food. Sing in line for 20 minutes at the drive through getting mystery meat wrapped in a tortilla. Instead, call Los Cazadores Mexican Restaurant in Bremerton. Los Cazadores is the best authentic Mexican food around. Call your order in at 479-3230. They'll be ready for you when you arrive at Los Cazadores at 2805 Wheaton Way in Bremerton. No mystery here. Authentic Mexican food only at Los Cazadores. Welcome back. Well, it, it's 40 to 35. Uh, Wildcats instead of a 37 37 tie. Um, I have no answers. Except we have to get, get getting up and checking their, their score because it's, I don't think they're pretty actually giving the right teams the points at the right times. Um, or I'm not quite sure, but nonetheless, so instead of a 37 37 tie, when we just checked this thing at the top where I started rerouting it at 32 27, and then 
six scoring plays later, we have an entirely different score. I don't mean to harp on it, but it's just kind of frustrating over here trying to call a basketball game. When you can't have somebody do the scoreboard operating correctly. Yeah, somebody can review the footage. So here's Alerte at the free throw line. And he misses the back into the free throw. He missed the first one of the anyway. There's a box. He's out to alert day to reload. And hits. 40 to 38. And officially your score is the Wildcats come back, get away. Turn the basketball over to alert day. Skip pass. Nice spin move away by Kareem Stewart, who scores just 10 points. We should have a tie at 40. Daniel Moore slowly walked the ball out of the ball out of backcourt. Just pick Hale. Here's Moore. Play defenders going in. Toss it up off the mark. No good. Brickhouse for the offense. The rebound goes up, misses the shot. Brings it back down. And said the basketball will mean Kane. With the Wildcats, as Jans Moore will still over to announce the basketball for the Wildcats. Yep. Pick out the two free throws. Free throw up and out the back iron for Brandon Brickhouse. Next free throw by Brandon. Is off to Mark. Raleigh for three. The box is tip it up. And out of bounds. Here's a steal. Racing in the backcourt. Nice pass to Crawley, Devontae, Gerwin, Jimmy, and get the bounce. Haley uh, hails with the rebound. Williams will weave his way in the backcourt. Now the funny tied up on the play by Devontae momentarily. Now the funny blow to whistle. And the jump ball will be to basketball. The side is going to go to the Wildcats. Talk it over with uh, Derek Jackson and Williams. Kibashi waiting for him to inbounds the basketball. We'll count him. Finally gets into Clark, just spins away, chips the balls, and a foul call. Tripping foul called against the UB boys, even with a, a lady on her team with Christy Crawley. UB boys and girls. Williams win bounds the far side of the floor. Next break, we'll find out how much time is left here in the first half. Clark will step back, left wide open. Dribble drive in, cut off by Stewart. And they're trying to dish one over to Hale on the near corner and throws that one out of bounds. Rebounding Kadeem Stewart. Or alert day, waiting for it right for the presence. Uh, Dragging out, off her hands and out of bounds. He's got game of watching her shoot for the game. Here's more for three. No good. Ball tapped out in the hands of Williams. Tracked down by Crawley in the corner. Out for Clark from 17, gets it to go. Here's Dabashi. Three, nothing but the bottom of the court. For Dabashi. Here come the Wildcats back the other way. Brandon Brickhouse will hit the bricks. Williams will hit the bricks. If Williams was six inches taller, he'd 
him and uh, Brandon Brickhouse could, could claim to be twins. They look a lot alike. Williams will find himself at the free throw line. Time running down here in the first half. First free throw by Ulysses Todd Williams, 2006, Bourbon tonight. And rounds in the first free throw. Next free throw by Ulysses Todd Williams. It's good. Breaks the tie. Should be 45 44. Wildcats on top. He's good, driving in, trying to get to, look at the shot, and he'll find himself back at the free throw line for UB boys. And girls with Presley Stewart on the floor as well. Known girl on the floor for, for UB. First free throw by Stewart. Should tie the game at 45. We throw up coming. Gary Johnson. Educating Jamie Clark and uh, I'm going to do one that we found in the so in front of him, no good. He got to go down the rebound, and off to Williams. Red back court, had on by Stewart. Weave his way out of traffic. Good ball handling skills by Williams. Did it to Moore. Shows his as well. His little darting pass to move. Hands off inside to Brandon Brickhouse. Under an empty footwork and pass by the ends of the Moore. There's a steal by Clark. Who drives in? Maybe Presley got a hand on it, hand on it at all. And she can't believe the call. And and actually, from this vantage point, she had all basketball. But Gary Johnson on the opposite side of the floor didn't get a good look at that one. And um, maybe he called it on. No, he called it on somebody else. So Presley's off the hook, still shaking her head. Clark at the free throw line. Yeah, no, Presley had all of it, and the guy he called the foul on most likely got the hand. So Clark will fling up the first free throw, back higher, no good. Clark's second attempt is two free throws, back and up. It's going to be interesting uh, if the Wildcats end up not winning this game, or if they do win this game, to eliminate UB boys, it'd be a a big question mark looming over the score clock operator. He's not, I'm not sure if they're doing the time as well, but he throws good by Clark. Stewart. Right on top to Cole. Knocks one down underneath. To somebody who was checked in that we did not see earlier in the game. He's a jump ball on the floor. Todd Williams it seems to be everywhere. And the basketball will stay with. UB Boys as Presley Crawley will end down. He gets it in to Stewart. Go back away. Now to come down to. Hit to Stewart, misses the first call, he misses the shot. To race back down the other, other way to cover Hale, who snuck out of backcourt. Jams the more straight away. Here's Clark. Nice pass inside to Brickhouse, who misses a short Wayne shot, but pulls down the rebound away. Gives it off to Williams. Out of control going in and deflected off UB boys and out of bounds. We have a timeout on the floor. Please step aside. Here for these words from Bremerton Don't be a hoarder. Get rid of your stuff. Go to BremertonJunk.com. 
We are who we are. We get stuff. Then don't use it anymore. Then wonder what to do with it and it's all piled up in the garage or becoming an eyesore. Pack it up and bring it centered up? Yeah, right. One problem is you don't have the means to do so. No problem. Call Bremerton Drunk Removal. They'll do it for you. Scrap metal? No problem. Refuse your yard debris? No problem. Need spring cleaning done or your garage cleaned out? No problem. Don't be a hoarder of useless stuff. Got junk? Call Bremerton Drunk Removal. 360-233-6799 or visit their website, BremertonJunk.com. All right, here's your update. Instead of 45, 44, we have 49. 49.42. Wildcats on top, or if you're uh, looking on the bright side of things, Wildcats are benefiting from scoreboard operator. Sees the Wildcats inbounds to Deanza no more. Drive inning is more. Into the trees is more. Getting fouled is more. Getting banged to the floor is more. He'll find himself at the free throw line. Back once again for the, the Wildcats. And, uh, it's fun to watch Gary Jackson tell the players on the floor exactly what they did to get the foul. That way, you may have seen right there, he jumped off. So he goes, hey, well, you, you jumped up and drew the foul. And but if you don't know what you did to, to commit the foul, he'll tell you. Exactly what the infraction part was, and he's doing it as well here. Free throw by Moore. In and out. Next free throw left coming by DMs and Moore. Seems like the pace of play today is a lot slower than it was. Yesterday, here's the next free throw by Moore. He gets that one to drop. So 50 to 42. Wildcats. Here's back get away. And did that, did that go? No, I didn't think so. Here's more for three. Right away, no good. Pulls with a rebound. Now we're stolen way back by the Wildcat. Dumps underneath the brick house, wide open underneath, and he'll turn, pivot, and fire and hit. Wildcats lead it by 10, 52 to 42. Swooping back to the way of Stewart who scores. Moore into the paint, and the ball jabbed away, and another foul called underneath. And now they're going to change it to a traveling violation. Thank you. So we're waiting to see what they're doing over there. Well, it's going to be Wildcats ball. After all that. Dark wood mounds. Demore, who drives in. Nice move by Moore, who steps back behind the back. Elevates and misses a shot. Rebound jabbed away. And controlled by UB Boys. And we have a technical foul called. going to be on the so somebody has six hmm. what is the score by the way war one bounds 40, Jesus. Yeah, we have you get bumped in the chops. Well, what do you say? What did Portuguese say the score was? Oh. Oh. 
Or we'll hit the... That makes no sense. 51 to 48. Wildcats on top. Moore getting counts at the free throw line. Slow paced game. First half. And Moore will attempt the, the free throws. Here's the first free throw. So 52 48. <laughs> Wildcats on top. Next free throw coming up by DeAndre Moore. 2022 Wildcats. They're running from tonight. Misses the, the next free throw. Here comes you, G Boys, in the front court. Scoops out right side. There's a heady up for a shot. Back iron, no good. Off the rebound, pulled down and up. And off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down. Good. He fit the rebound by Red and Brickhouse battling underneath with Coles. Moore will cut down the loose ball. Try baseline right. Elevate. Five. Back iron, no good. Ball the shot. Gets his own rebound. As he goes up, he gets fouled again by the UB boys. Kareem Stewart with the foul. And the uh, more finds him yet again at the free throw line for the Bremerton Wildcats. This game's almost an hour old. Or not even almost 50 minutes old. There was still at some point in the first half of the 20 minute running clock or a non stop clock. But you get the gist. It's been a long first half. It's Moore will miss the first free throw. The other game over at Crossford is starting at the same time as that halftime already. They about ready to start the second half. We're not even through with the first half yet. As Jens or Moore will attempt the, the free throw. As the Wildcats lead by four, 52 to 48. Make it 53 to 48. Here's Alert Day working against defense of Williams. Thought about taking it, then try to dish it in. Jab back out. Now back to Alert Day out on top. Again, Williams converged on defense with him and him and Hale. Good drive in. Left hand run. Goes up and blocked by Brandon Rickhouse. This, this lodging the camera. Moving the table. Just bed them over here. I do it, Gary. Chair two. A great game, great game. Everything's going good. I want to keep you safe. I need you to slide your chair back too. Oh, okay. Ready, one, two. You, the chair, your go. chair. Now, do it. There we go. We're hey, wouldn't be going out our, our broadcasters. <laughs> Some adjustments here to score his table. Keep us all out of harm's way. Driving in is Stewart. This is near side. Driving in is Alert Day. Goes up to Brandon Brickhouse with yet another block, but there to stick the, the block back in is Kadeem Stewart, who's had a wonderful first half. 53-50 here in the first half. Wildcats clinging to a three-point lead and, and yet another foul on the UB boys back at the other end. Seeing Elizabeth Todd Williams to the free throw line. You know, banter there moments ago with Rep. Gary Johnson. Got a tough job here for him today. One man refereeing crew for this game. And then on the opposite end as well, the Williams will hit the first free throw. We'll get it 54 to 50. Wildcats on top. One more free throw to go. Williams. Bins, flex, releases, and he's a short. Ball tapped out by Clark, right back hand to Williams, missing the shot. Rickhouse will try to get a hand on it, couldn't do so. Relente bangs into the body of Williams, coming out of backcourt, 
And a blocking foul called on Williams. Here they come in the back court. Here's Stewart. Drive again to Stewart. Hanging in the air. Stewart handing off to Stewart. And the foul called maybe before the bucket. We'll have to wait and see. And the foul, so no bucket, unless he disputes one. So 54-50 remains the score. First free throw is good. So the bucket did not count, make it 54 to 51. Time running down, we don't know exactly the time, but we've got to be getting close to halftime as the other game, or the second half, is already underway. Next free throw, won't go. Swooping in is the ends of the morning. Get the rebound. Wildcats lead it by three. Nice cross of remover by the ends of the more. Drives left, steps back. Gets a defensive Stewart, loses control of the basketball, and then walks with it. Turnover by the the Wildcats. UB boys have a chance to come back and tie. Here before the end of the, uh, the half. Here's Dabashi driving right side. Boy, he had a good rest. Out on top to Alerte. Far side to four. Head about a deep. It's a hail. Alerte's still with it. Oh, Hedia, the ball jabbed away. Retrieved by Stewart. So we set the offense. Here's Stewart hanging in the air and hitting his Kadeem Stewart. Broadcast by one, 54 to 53. Here's Wild, uh, David Clark going in. And that is your buzzer at the end of the first half of action. It's been a long first half. But the Wildcats cling to a one-point lead at the break. We'll be back. With the holidays approaching fast, there's so much to do, like getting your house ready for family gatherings. Relax. House Call Cleaning Service is here to help. Five-star rated, licensed and bonded, House Call Cleaning offers services in Kitsap and Mason County. Whether you're getting ready for the holidays or just don't have the time, call the professionals at House Call Cleaning, 360-552-0525 to schedule your appointment today. House Call Cleaning Services, relax, we got this. And it is 